is good YouTube and welcome back to a brand new video and today we're gonna rebuild the Charlotte Hornets man Lamelo Ball is obviously the story of this team and has been since he's been drafted to Charlotte and he's had his up and downs this season but he is starting to come into his own the last two games I believe he had a triple double I know the last game he did and I think the game before that he did as well so Lamelo Ball is starting to show himself in the NBA and I think he's starting to get a little comfortable and that's why the Hornets need to finally give this man the key to their organization. They still have him coming off the bench. We need to start Lamelo Ball. We need to build around this guy and we need to make something happen for Charlotte. We got to make them a playoff team again. So that's what we're going to do today. Make sure you guys leave a like if you enjoyed this video. Subscribe if you haven't already on the road to 16k and let's do this Hornets rebuild. You know you have Gordon Hayward who they signed. You got Rozier who's been doing all right this season. Devontae Graham and then of course Lamella Ball the man the myth the legend the guy we want to just show what he can become in this video. So they don't have him starting in real life which I don't like that at all. I want Lamella Ball to start. I want to give him the key to this organization. And I want to see what he can do. So for this first season I'm not going to really do much of anything. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just simulate it, man. I want to see Lamelo Ball playing 35 minutes, so that's what I'm going to do. Take away some minutes from the bench, and I want to see this man uh, prosper this season. I want to see him average a lot of points, and I want to show that he can become our uh, franchise player for the future. So that's what we're going to do. And then, of course, we're probably going to suck, which is going to lead us into the lottery, which we can draft even more talent to add to the roster next to Lamelo Ball. So that is kind of the plan. We're going to build around Lamelo, make him start, play a lot of minutes, and hopefully he can... Pretty much saved the Charlotte Hornets from what they've become, obviously, since losing Kemba, which that wasn't too long ago. So they did this, get the replacement point guard, hopefully the, for, for the future. But we're going to simulate this first season, and we are just going to see how the Charlotte Hornets do. Obviously, with Lamella Ball now getting like 38 minutes a game, and uh, I, I just want to see him shoot a lot of shots. I'm going to give him all the freedom in the world, and I want to see him prosper doing it. Prize, with Lamella Ball getting 38 minutes a game, we're actually a 500 team, not above 500. Now below 500, we went exactly 41 and 41. LaMelo Ball led the way with 20 points and 6 assists, 42%, 72%, 35% from 3. And then when he's 6 man of the year, Giannis defensive player and Michael Porter most improved. So, uh, yeah, man, I'm a little shocked. I thought we were going to be worse than what we were. I feel like we almost pretty much made the playoffs, which is kind of crazy to think about. Uh, yeah, we were like two games off from making the playoffs, which would have been crazy. So definitely happy with what I've seen so far. When you look at the player stats, we had uh, obviously 20 from LaMelo. And then you had uh, 15 from Terry Rozier, 15 from Devonta Graham, 13 from Gordon Hayward, and 12 and a half from Cody Zeller. So we're going to make some serious changes this offseason. Obviously, this is not the team we want to go with going forward. We want to add more talent around LaMelo. And then Gordon Hayward obviously being here as well. We'll have to see what we want to do with him. As the Brooklyn Nets win over the Rockets in five games, we'll go to the draft lottery. Uh, we are projected a lower lottery pick, which is a little unfortunate. Definitely would have been rather in like the top five, but unfortunately we just won too many games. So uh, we're projected the 13th pick. Maybe we go up, maybe we stay the same, and we do stay the same at number 13. So a little unfortunate, like I said, we could trade up potentially here, which I definitely am going to waive that or, uh, you know, uh, consider that. I definitely will. I'm going to fire all my coaches though, because I just, I'm just not a big, the biggest fan of James Barengo's ratings on here. I'm going to hire Jacob Underwood. I'm going to go with Otis Newman, and I'm also going to go with, obviously, you guys already know, Trent Peterson, same coaches as I usually get. Uh, we would exceed uh, something, so let me, let me decline Trent Peterson for a second. And then we got our trainer, which is going to be important, and then we're just going to sign Trent Peterson, and we should be able to sign both of them now. So, uh, not yet. We're close. There we go. All right, so we got our coaching staff that we wanted. Let's go to the NBA draft now. And with the 13th pick... Definitely could consider staying at number 13, but I feel like there's just so many players under contract right now that I definitely want to trade this pick and trade up if possible. So if I trade a Rozier in the 13th pick, does anybody offer me a pick where I could move up? I could get Rudy Gobert. We can move up to number seven and get Torian Prince from the Knicks. I definitely don't hate that, actually. I actually kind of like that trade. Moving up six spots would definitely be interesting as I'm not going to keep Terry Rozier anyway. So yeah, we're going to do that trade. We're going to go ahead and send Terry Rozier to the New York Knicks. We're going to trade up to number seven. So I do like that. And we get Torian Prince's contract in return as well. Both are on one year deals. So it doesn't really matter. So we move up to number seven from 13. Now we can draft somebody a little bit better here. So with number, uh, number seven, we can get Jonathan Kuminga. We can get Scotty Lewis, Scotty Barnes, uh, Jeremiah Robinson, Earl, Zara Williams, BJ Boston, Terrence Shannon. We can get, uh, okay. BJ Boston, uh, Evan Mobley, Terrence Shannon. Um, you know what? I think I've gotten Jonathan Kuminga before. I think I'm going to go with BJ Boston. I believe somebody told me to draft him in like one of the last videos. So I'm going to draft him today. I hope that uh, he's actually, I'm pretty sure he's pretty good, but I might be mistaken. We'll see. Uh, with the number seven pick, he is a 78 overall. So yep, I definitely like 
Lamelo and BJ Boston potentially playing together in the backcourt. So I like that a lot. We're going to assign BJ Boston, of course, and then we're going to decline the other two uh, second rounders. So I will accept, I guess, all my team options. Qualifying offers Malik Monk, Devontae Graham. Probably will mo most likely do a sign trade with Malik Monk. I'm not sure about Devontae Graham. Might do the same thing. We'll have to just kind of wave our options and kind of see what we want to do. So uh, I don't know why I keep saying wave. I'm, I'm trying to say, like, decide our options, I guess. But BJ Boston, Caleb Martin. Uh, Gordon Hayward, Mikel Bridges, or Miles Bridges, I should say. We're going to keep that all the same. Small forward spot, probably stay the same. PJ Washington, of course, will stay the same as well. Herman Prince backing him up. And the center spot is kind of a huge hole right now, so we definitely want to consider our options uh, for the center spot. So other than that, I'm pretty happy with what we got thus far. So for uh, the center spot, we have options like Drummond, which we don't want to go all out and sign Drummond, Aldridge, Whiteside, uh, Montres Harrell, Jarrett Allen, Mark's cousin, Serge Ibaka, Rashawn Holmes, White Howard, uh, you know, honestly, I do kind of can I, I do kind of like the idea of maybe a Jared Allen somebody who could play defense I don't know if I want to offer him like uh, the most I would offer him is like a 20 mil a year I guess if we want to if he wants to sign for that uh, That's gonna be more talent and no they actually match the contract. So I didn't want to offer Jared Allen too much money um, So we are not gonna get Jared Allen. We might have to wait on our center because I could offer I could offer Montrose Harrell a contract, but I just don't know if you want. I want him to be our full-time starting center at 6'7". There's DeMarcus Cousins. There's Serge Ibaka. Rashawn Holmes, 27 years old. Might have to be our center for the for at least for now. Um, I don't really want to bring back Cody Zeller. So, uh, yeah, I don't hate uh, Rashawn Holmes being our center, at least for the time being. And then we'll figure it out after that. So, we get Rashawn Holmes. And then we got two options with Bismack. Not Bismack. Malik Monk. I kind of want to do a sign-in trade with. Uh, or we'll just bring him back either way. So, and then Devontae Graham is still out here somewhere, which uh, I should be able to sign him uh, with the bird rights. And I am going to be able to. So I'm going to sign Devontae Graham to a three-year, $16 million deal. And then I could keep him here, um, which I definitely am considering. He is 20, uh, He is 26. I think I might keep him for now. I think I'll keep him for now. And then later on, we'll kind of see if that is something we want to do, if we want to keep uh, actually keep him for the foreseeable future. So... Um, Malik Monk, as far as Malik Monk is concerned, I think I might have just renounced him, which is okay. So, all right. If we get Bismack Beyond, wait, Bismack Beyond was not restricted. So, I think we should be good with this rotation that I'm about to have. So, uh, look at the player regression. You got Gordon Hayward, Lamella Ball, PJ Washington, Miles Bridges, Rashawn Holmes, Devontae Graham. So, we're going to keep looking for a center, obviously. I do not want Rashawn Holmes to be our future starting center. We're going to keep looking for that. But for now, Rashawn Holmes should at least work for like a bridge gap center, if you know what I mean. Like, we're just going to have him for the year and then after that we'll definitely look for a better center so when you go to training camps we're gonna throw some untapped potentials at obviously some of our guys like Lamelo is not even up to an a plus yet so let's throw that there and then you got pj washington who i want to throw some untapped potential to and then i'm also throw some at let's say bj boston who we just drafted so all right when you look at the rotation now what they want to roll with we got Lamelo ball bj boston i like that 38 minutes i love that Lamelo and bj boston a ton of minutes gordon hayward pj washington rashawn holmes I actually like the starting five. And then you got Miles Bridges, Devontae Graham, Torian Prince, and Nick Richards. So, yeah, I actually really like what we're going with here. So, when we look at the proficiency, we're two and a half at uh, grit and grind. So, we're going to move that to a seven second system. And then we're just going to go ahead and simulate the year and kind of just see how season number two goes. I don't really expect this to be a playoff team, but, you know, it, I might get shocked here. We might, because well, honestly, I was not expecting to win 40 win games last season, and we did. So, maybe this season will actually make the playoffs, but. We're gonna have to simulate to see if that will be the case. Unfortunately, we still missed the playoffs, which is a little unfortunate. We went 42 and 40, so we won one more game than we did last year, but at the end of the day, we still missed the playoffs, which is super unfortunate. When you look at the player stats, uh, we had uh, 25 from Melo and 23 and a half from BG Boston. So, I mean, it's kind of looking like already we have our backcourt of the future, if you ask me. So, definitely love to see that. So, BG Boston and Lamelo are going to be playing together for a very, very long time. Both shot very efficiently from the field as well. So, that is awesome. Now, we just really need to get a center here. And then, I don't know if I want to keep Gordon Hayward any longer. He's only averaging 11 points. I'm sure his shot tendency is a little messed up, but... Um, I never liked the Hornets signing Gordon Hayward very much anyway, so definitely going to be trying to get rid of him as soon as I can. So for the draft lottery, we do end up here with another lottery pick, and we're projected number 14 this time. So, um, which we are the 10th seed in the East, so I don't know why we're projected 14. I assume we would be higher than that, but maybe the tiebreaker, and uh, we end up with number 14 still. So unfortunately, we don't move up. We're still at number 14, and you go to the staff signing. I'm going to keep that all the same. I guess I'll grab a quick trainer, a head scout, I should say. And going into the draft, um, with the 14th pick, we definitely could 
maybe sign someone here but i think what i'd rather do is unload gordon hayward's contract in number 14 and try to just see if we can dump him off or even grab something in return like the celtics may be bringing back gordon hayward and they give me a 2024 first they give me jt thor as well who is a um i don't oh go bear is interesting but he's 30 years old so i kind of rather get somebody on uh the timeline of our team miles turner's 26 definitely an interesting option christian wood definitely could be nice as well uh, James Boonight, uh, and then you got the eighth pick. We can move up. We, dra we, we, we trade Gordon Hayward. And we can move up in the draft. I guess we could do... We, yeah, we could do that. Let's move up in the draft, I guess. And then let's go to number eight and kind of see what we can grab here at number eight. So uh, at number eight, we can grab... Uh, Chet Holm Green is gone already. So definitely would have been an interesting option because we need a center. And uh, we have Caleb Love here. Jaden Hardy, Walker Kessler. Um, I think I'm going to go with kill of love here best available pick i guess we don't really need a guard necessarily but um it is what it is so 74 overall definitely could have taken somebody better uh that's a that's a mess up by me but it's okay so kill love welcome to the team and then they got dayron sharp in the second round who's a 74 overall so i'll go ahead and accept his option so qualifying offers miles bridges kill martin i'm not worried about the martin brothers necessarily i i don't really care about bringing either of them back uh, miles bridges definitely somebody I, I would like to see back but for free agency I'm really focused on getting a center in this free agency class. We need one in the worst way. DeAndre Aiden would be a lot of fun if we could snag him somehow. Uh, Mitch Robinson, Yusuf Nurkic, Mitch Robinson would be nice. So uh, DeAndre Aiden, if you want to come to Charlotte, I definitely would love to give you an offer. And then we'll also offer Mitch Robinson a contract from the Knicks. We'll also offer him a, uh, Nurkic a contract, uh, 30 mil. I would rather not have Nurkic. I'd rather get one of the other two, but we'll see. So Aiden is my ideal choice, and he is going to accept another offer. So that is a little unfortunate. But when you go to Green C, we can sign both Mitch Robinson and Nurkic, but I'd rather just get Mitch Robinson, a defending center, somebody that can catch lobs, uh, I would say, from Lamelo. So definitely don't hate that. And then DeAndre Aiden is still accepted another offer. We'll have to see if he... Big Suns decided to match my offer sheet anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Okay, so, and yeah, so I guess we're going to grab Mitchell Robinson uh, out of all centers out of free agency. So looking at the team now, you got Devontae Graham, Lamella Ball, you got BJ Boston, a shooting guard, no small forward right now, PJ Washington, uh, Reggie Holloway, and J Jalen McDaniels. You got Mitchell Robinson, Nick Richards, uh, Vernon Carey, and Dayron Sharp. So we kind of really desperately need a small forward as well. So Miles Bridges could be that guy, but I'm not really sure if I think he should be the guy to be honest with you so i could go all out and sign zach levine or something but i don't really want to do that necessarily we kind of need uh for me a three and d small forward makes a little bit more sense like a kogi could be interesting miles bridges definitely want to have him back but i also don't want to see him start necessarily if we signed a kogi who's 24 years old do i have to renounce miles i don't so okay a kogi that's somebody i don't necessarily get very often so um if miles bridges gets a large contract offer we will probably match it but we'll see and then only other thing i guess left to do is maybe to sign a backup center so i'll get Derek favors and then i think that's all we're about to do so hopefully osiris comes back and yes he does and then now we got one two three four five six seven eight nine ten yeah so we're right we're, we're, we're chilling so lamella ball mitch robinson bj boston pj washington miles bridges so definitely love the direction of the team thus far i feel like we should finally be a playoff team in this third season and then I'm not sure for a championship team just yet, but we're getting there. It's actually starting, which is fine, I guess. PJ Washington, Mitchell Robinson, Nick Richards, Vontae Graham, Josh Akogi, and Derek Favors. So, yeah, very, very excited for season number three. This should be finally where we uh, clinch a playoff berth. Probably not championship material just yet, but we should definitely be in the playoffs if I'm not mistaken. This team wasn't championship contender just yet, and uh, we won 68 games. So, yeah, take that for what you will. I was not expecting us to be this good this early, but here we are. MVP, Luka Doncic, uh, Jabbar Smith, Rookie of the Year, Obi Toppin, Sixth Man on the Knicks, Giannis Defense Player, Malachi Flynn on the Raptors Most Improved. Okay, I'll have to... Keep that noted for the next time I do a Raptors rebuild or just in general uh, have Malachi Flynn because the man starts to go off eventually, I assume. Jake Vanderwood, Coach of the Year, as we went 68-14. and 14. So, yeah, I'm a little shocked by that, but here we are. Uh, James Wiseman makes an All-NBA first team. That's cool to see. As far as uh, All-NBA second team, we got LaMelo Ball making it. Uh, the man averaged 30 points per game. Haha, <laughs> okay, so it kind of makes sense, I guess. All-Defense first team and All-Defensive second team. Uh, so, yeah, we got the first seed in the Eastern Conference and... 
30 and 30 from BJ Boston and LaMelo Ball. So I had no idea BJ Boston was this good in the draft. And yeah, he is. He's a beast out of this draft class. So, wow. I mean, I am definitely a little shocked there, but these two went, went off. So LaMelo Ball, 30 and 9. Both shot very efficiently. Miles Bridges, Devontae Graham, PJ Washington, Mitchell Robinson. We got ourselves a rebounding blocking center, which definitely probably fit very nicely. And a Kogi can play some defense off the bench. Shot uh, 44 or shot 33% from three. And here we are playing the Cleveland Cavaliers. We have Garland, Kevin Porter, Okoro, Pablo Bancharo. I don't think I said that name right. Pablo or Paolo. I don't know. Uh, Garland, but I do like the look of this team. They did lose Colin Sexton, which is a little unfortunate. They signed Zach Levine, but Levine is actually not starting. He is coming off the bench for Kevin Porter. So, uh, simulating game one, uh, we win it. So, that's a good start to things. Two to zero, three to zero, and we sweep them. So, wow. LaMelo Ball and BJ Boston is a great combination so far. Markel Fultz, again, prayers up to Fultz. Got injured. Be out for the year. Definitely sucks for him. Moses Moody, Jonathan Isaac, Chuma Okiki, Vucevic, Greg Brown, Mo Bamba. So, that's another talented roster, but... We have two dynamic scorers on a roster who are just not going to go down, man. Two to one. Uh, as I say that, they even the series. We're up three to two, though. And we're going to a game seven with Orlando Magic. So hopefully we're able to take care of business here in game seven. 68 and 14 automatically makes me think that we should win a championship this year. Hopefully I didn't just jinx it. And we, I'm, I, I, I might have jinxed it. Okay. 114 and 108. Um, we probably just need like one more year of development and we'll be back here. So 126 to 119. Unfortunately, we're able to uh, win a championship this year. We were super close. 68 and 14 and losing in the second round is definitely a very, very disappointing year. But for the draft lottery, we are not going to have a pick here. I don't imagine. And we do not. So the first time we are not going to be selecting in the lottery. I didn't mean to click it again. But I guess I should check to make sure we don't have like a... We have the 29th pick, so I'm not really worried about that. But uh, I guess... Yeah, I'm going to kind of try to keep the rotation the same. I mean, we just kind of went off. So I don't really want to see anybody leave. So Washington, Nick Richards, Reggie Holloway. I mean, I want everybody back if possible. So free agency though. Uh, if we still need a backup center, I, I know that for sure. So let me sign like uh, favors back if possible. He was pretty... Awesome for us, I imagine. So I'm gonna give him a, another. I'm gonna give him a two-year deal this time. So let's sign Derek Favors. I don't want to renounce Reggie Holloway. So um, let's make sure that doesn't happen. Oh, they want to renounce PJ Washington, which definitely isn't gonna happen. Um, we're not. We're not renouncing Miles Bridges' rights either. So yeah, we definitely want everybody back. Miles Bridges is now unrestricted, so I guess I gotta pay him. So I'm gonna give him a three-year, $18 million deal. It's once again wanting me to renounce rights, which I don't want to do. So please stop trying to make me do that. Uh, I, I really get annoyed when 2k tries to make me do that. So we're gonna sign miles bridges back and then Okay, so no nobody's renouncing anybody, right? Okay, we're good I'm gonna just wait till everybody comes back on the restricted offer and then bring it back the same roster should lead to a repeat of us being good again and Washington Richards Peter, Yeah, everybody's back. So boom 91 91 88 84. I am NOT even I'm not worried next season should be the championship year We literally just went off this last season Got disappointed, but now we have a fire lit under us, and we should be back in the playoffs. NBA averaging 30 points. Cade Cunningham, MVP for the Thunder. Jalen Duran is rookie of the year. John Collins, sixth man. Giannis Fitz, player. Javon Quin Quinterly is your most approved, and Monty Williams, coach of the year. So we're the third seed in the East. Um, yeah, I don't. We kind of fell off from where we were, but hopefully, we're still gonna, you know, go out there and compete. Caleb Love joined the rotation with 12 points per game. Very nice. So yeah, we are playing. Uh, Toronto Raptors in the first round have Sky Clark, Keontae George, OG, Siakam, Clint Capella, uh, Derek Culver, Kristen Thompson. Simulating current round against the Toronto Raptors, and we sweep them, so that's a good start of things. Now playing the Atlanta Hawks, we have Trey Young, Reddish, Hunter, Nkongwu, Chet Holm. Wow, this team is a super team if I've ever seen one. Uh, simulating game one. They win game one. They win game two. Yeah, I mean, this was definitely a very, very... I mean, look at this. Trey Young, Reddish, Hunter, and Kongwu. Home green. Collins off the bench. Miles Turner. Yeah, this definitely was not going to be a good sight for us. So, 3-1, to one, and we eliminate. We get eliminated in five games. So, we did not win a championship, but we at least made the Charlotte Hornets respectable again. And BJ Boston and the ball became the best backcourt we've ever seen as far as young players are concerned. So... Yeah, unfortunately, we weren't able to win a championship in this video, but like I said, LaMelo Ball should be a lot of fun 
in the NBA in, in the NBA for the foreseeable future. And hopefully the NBA season keeps going because they're having a lot of issues right now. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video regardless. Make sure you like if you did. But for now, this is Crushables. I'm saying peace.